the San Antonio Raceway is opening to any driver willing and wanting to race their car. Our Chelsea Hernandez sits down with world champion racer Mike Murillo and San Antonio Raceway's George Jones on the improved track right here in the Alamo City. Are you feeling the need for speed? Well, this weekend, the San Antonio Raceway opens its doors for thrill seekers and those who just want to sit back and watch. Joining me now is George Jones and Mike Murillo. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you Good for morning. being here. Good morning. All right, so uh, George, go ahead and tell us about the raceway itself. Uh, San Antonio Raceway is located just right off of 10, mm -hmm. going towards the Gein, 130 acres of fun. It's a quarter mile drag strip. Uh, we're open every weekend starting tomorrow night until mid-December. Okay, so who would love to be there? Is this a family friendly type environment? Uh, you know, who can go out? Everybody. I mean, anybody can race their car. I don't care if you're a soccer mom, throw okay. your kids out the back seat. You can go down a quarter mile. Um, very, very family friendly. That's one thing we did in the last six months is we turned the place around to where it's more for families. We have a family night um, the first Saturday of every month where we bring in bounce houses, we put in permanent sandbox for the kids and really cater to families and lots of drag racing. Okay, so you kind of mentioned some of the events you have. Uh, what events are coming up? This weekend is the big grand opening. Uh, this weekend is what we call our soft opening. Okay. So we get our feet wet, get all the staff back in place and um, let everybody tune their cars. And then on the 20th of February will be our grand reopening reopening okay. where we'll have a bracket race all day and then we'll have family family night that night, test and tune that evening. Um, then we go into an LS1 truck race February 27th. Um, then we go straight into the Bounty Hunter Outlaw race with this guy, Mike Murillo. Okay, I was just about to get over to Mike. You're an actual racer. So yes, tell us a little bit about your background in racing. I've been doing it for a little while. We have 14 world championships. Um, wow. We live here in San Antonio. Uh -huh. A lot of people don't realize we're here in San Antonio. But um, do, uh, do a lot of racing. Been doing it for many years. Okay, so what are you most excited for coming up? Well, this type of racing, I like to say it's the X Games of drag racing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's so exciting because we're on a no prep track, okay. which makes it really difficult for most of the guys to get their cars down the track. But it's a very exciting experience. The fans absolutely love it. Okay, and so when people go out there to race their vehicles, they can go however slow or fast that they want to? Is that, is that correct? Exactly. You, right. could go, you could drive a smart car, you could drive a minivan, a Suburban, a motorcycle. We even have a semi-truck race in April. Oh my so gosh. it doesn't matter. If you can make it to your tech, it doesn't leak, and it's, we deem it safe, you can take it down the track. Okay, so what can you tell us about the racing community here in San Antonio? It's awesome. I mean, if it wasn't for the racing community and the fans of San Antonio, the track would still be closed and we'd have no place to race here locally. Yes. We'd have to drive two, three hours north or south to be able to do what we love. Okay, perfect. And, and, and they've done a great job. I mean, I travel all over the country mm -hmm. racing and, you know, it was really hard for me to come back home to San Antonio. And I know we have a beautiful track mm -hmm. establishment and we just weren't getting things done like it needed to be. And, and since they've taken it over, it's, it's a lot of excitement surrounding it. And so there's... There's a lot more people coming out now. Okay, perfect. And so again, just to reiterate, this weekend is a soft grand opening. There's going to be live music, some games for the kiddos, anything like that? Um, actually, no live music. Okay. or But we have tricycle races for the kids on our downtime. Um, we let any kid comes down there and they race on our little parade road in front of the big bleachers and they get a little prize at the end of it. So it's... I love prizes. I yeah. know. How fun. So again, you just <laughs> mentioned bleachers. So if you don't want to go out and race your vehicle, you can just sit in the bleachers and watch for fun. And, and heckle us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. For a full schedule of events, you can visit saraceway.com. And gentlemen, was there anything else that you guys wanted to add? You did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for being here with us. Guys, back to you.